Hey everybody, happy Sunday. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I like stumbled over that. Yeah. Happy Sunday, you guys. I hope you all have had an amazing weekend. I'm not even sure what happened to the weekend. I feel like it has totally flown by. Flown by. Yeah. We have been so super busy. Um, as you guys are coming on, please say hello. Let us know where you are watching from. We are coming to you guys live from beautiful, cool California. If you are not catching us live, that means that red box is not up there at the top. We missed you. Please put missed you in the comments so I can reach out and say hello. Hey, Pamela. Hey, Sharon. Hey, AJ. Thank you guys all for jumping on. We really appreciate it. Um, if you guys are brand new, welcome. We are super excited that you found your way to our page. Please put new in the comments. Let us know where you found us. Was it over on Instagram? Was it on TikTok? Or was it right here on Facebook? We have picked up so many, so new, many followers, new followers. Yes. And we Thank are you. very appreciative of you guys. So you guys can help us out to reach more people by sharing this. Sharing is caring and it also makes you beautiful. And when you do, make sure that you put shared in the comments so we can enter you into our monthly drawing. I think this month we are doing it for the Dash Mini Mixer, so you definitely don't want to miss that. Um, one more thing, you want to make sure that you guys are following us for all things keto. You can tap my nose or anywhere on the screen, and there's going to be three dots up in the top. You can select, the, hit those dots, and you can select follow. And you can also turn on live notifications so you guys know whenever we come live. Hey, Millie. Hey, Laura. Hey, Minta. Sharon Para, thank you so much for sharing. Hey, Lou. Hey, Vicki. Thank you guys for jumping on. So we are getting ready to go to a neighborhood party. Super excited. Going to like just kick back, enjoy our friends. Um, they're doing a birthday party, like block party for all of the Leos. Everybody who's got yeah birthdays this month. And you know, I mean, we have a lot of Leos in our lives. So for all of the Leos, and they're going to have a band. And so we are putting together something to take for a potluck, you guys. So if you need a potluck idea that nobody will even care that it's keto, you guys, because I'm telling you, this is in, good. It's incredible. <laughs> so make sure that you share it to your page um, so that way you have access to it. I'm going to go give it a quick share out and Mark is going to get started. Thank you, Justin, for sharing. Thank you, Tracy, for sharing. Thank you, Laura, for sharing. Oh my gosh, you guys are amazing. That's amazing. Be sure you check us out on YouTube as well. Team Terry Keto. Team Terry is one word. The T's are capital. We've got all of our recipes over there. We're pushing pretty close to 260 recipes. So we've got something you can eat. Definitely. <laughs> we've got breakfast, lunch, dinner, fat bombs, favorites, desserts, potluck. potluck. Yes. <laughs> Whatever you want to help keep you on your keto journey. It doesn't have to be difficult. Um, and that's what we try and show through our videos is that at um, 30 minutes or less and you've got a meal that's healthy for you, that'll help you burn your fat um, and keep you in your ketogenic diet. And the whole so, family will love it. Yeah, and the whole family will eat it. That's that's the other thing, is that it's not, you're not making something different for the kids that you're, than you're making for yourself. So um, if you want the uh, link to that, put YouTube in the comments and we'll get you the link. And if you're following us on, or if you're seeing this on YouTube, come check us out on Facebook. So I'm gonna get started here. I've got a pound or of a, kielbasa that uh, I cut up a little bit earlier. Um, I'm going to put just a little bit of avocado oil in, in the pan to help get a little sear on this. I'm just going to cook it up until it's um, just browned a little bit. And I want to uh, I want to get this just nice and tender and ready to go. Because this is going to go on top of a bed of um, coleslaw that we've got in our uh, casserole pan. We're gonna season it, we're gonna put the kielbasa in it, we're gonna throw some Rayo's marinara sauce over it, put some cheese on top of it, bake it in the oven, and boom, there and we, you go. And we have a potluck meal that we yeah. can take to the neighbors, you guys. That everybody will love. Everybody will love it, and we are staying keto. So I get yes. asked all the time, how do you guys stay keto all the time, or low carb? Because we're keto, low carb, lazy keto, cheeto keto, you know, we do all those things. Yeah. <laughs> But if I want is, ice cream, I eat it. Yeah. Not every day. Yeah, well, he, he, now eats, and then. Yeah, he eats um, keto ice cream, of course. Yeah. But it's meals like this, you guys, that we can take, we can share. We never feel deprived. No. Um, our neighbors actually like whenever we bring our foods and our desserts because they know that they can eat it and not feel guilty. Yeah. 
So thank you guys for saying hello. Jackie, we will definitely get you the YouTube link. Hey, Auntie Alfie, how are hey, you? Hey, Alfie. Um, Deronda says YouTube too. Hey, Debbie, thank you guys for jumping on. So if you guys are just joining us, we are doing keto spaghetti salad or spaghetti casserole. Yeah. And we are going to a neighborhood potluck. And this is what we are making to take with the neighbors. So if you guys are needing recipes like that, uh, make sure for one, you share this to your page, okay? And then you can also, if you're not already in our group, um, let me know that you need in the group. Just put group in the comments and we'll add you because you guys, we have so many amazing resources in there. Whatever yeah. it is you're looking for, if you're looking for vegan keto, if you're looking for dairy-free keto, if you're looking for just like recipes like this that are super simple, yeah. that you can share with neighbors, your kids, nobody is going to say, ooh, this is keto, because yeah. I'm telling you, oh, I love it. It's a perfect substitute for spaghetti. Yep, yeah, it really is. Um, we don't, I mean, Renee and I both enjoyed our pastas over the years and, mm -hmm. and miss it quite a bit but uh this one it, it's really good it's got all the flavoring of the spaghetti because we're using the rails marinara sauce and uh, some seasonings and it's just we don't miss it it's, it, it just uh continues to get better so hey kathy hey ann hey peggy we're putting the meat yeah so we're putting the meat and the sauce over the cold sauce yes yep Yes, so um, you guys, we'll also put the link to the entire recipe up at the top. So after this is over, that's why you wanna share this to your page. Um, you can go and you can print out the um, recipe to yep. save. Yep. Hey, Nicole, how are you, honey? Um, so yeah, we'll put the link up top, but that's basically the spaghetti is going to be coleslaw. Yeah, um, that's we, gonna be your noodles. We've done it with cabbage too, and I'm telling you guys, mm -hmm. it does not it's disappoint. Really it really is good. The cabbage is gonna be nice and soft, or the coleslaw, um, it's gonna be nice and soft. It's gonna have the flavors. We're gonna put garlic and, and onion and uh, Italian seasoning in it, and the rails and the cheese, and you just, you won't even know. It's, it's got a good texture too, I, I really love it. Yeah. There's two things that I like is spaghetti. Um, and one is the, uh, what are those noodles called? Healthy noodles. Healthy noodles. From yeah, Costco. From Costco. Those you, are really good. Yes. Nicole says, calling me by my government name. <laughs> what? I said, hey, Nicole, instead of hey, poo. Oh. And she goes, you're calling me by my government name. Am I in trouble? <laughs> oh, I love you. You have your father's sense of yes, humor yeah, for sure. You, um, anyway, I love the healthy noodles, you guys. Those are really a good noodle substitute. But I'm going to be honest. I think if I had a choice, I would go with the cabbage just because of the fact that you know you're getting your vegetables and stuff in. Yeah. Um, and it just, I love the, it's not really a crunch, but it's just the no. texture of it. Yeah, it's really good. Um, so I've got one smaller bag uh, of cauliflower in here. Coleslaw. This, uh, coleslaw. This uh, recipe calls for a nine by 13 uh, casserole dish. We've got a little bit smaller one. So I was expecting this. We weren't sure we were gonna take this to the party. So it was just a couple of meals for us. Um, I didn't wanna make a whole big thing because we're leaving next week. So um, I've got the uh, coleslaw in here. I'm just gonna take some uh, light on the garlic for Renee's stomach. I yeah. don't know what my problem is lately. A little bit of onion powder. A little bit of, of uh, mm. garlic. Yeah, you know what? You spaghetti have... squash. Somebody's asking about spaghetti squash. We love Absolutely. that too. Yes. It's just we, a lot of work. Yes. It just it is. <laughs> it's, it's a lot, a lot of work. Of work. We're, we're, we are really easy, quick, get it done in five, ten minutes, let it bake, and then eat. Yep. Um, we've always been that way. Mark loves to cook, but, but I don't like to slave in the yeah, kitchen, kitchen all day. for a long time. So. Yeah. Sherry, thank you very much for sharing. Hey, Sandy, if you guys share this out, make sure that you put share in the comments so we can enter you into the drawing. Okay, so I didn't measure any of these. Um, this was, is just garlic, um, minced garlic, uh, onion powder, and Italian seasoning. Just shake it on to your heart's content. If you like a lot of flavor and a lot of seasoning, put more on. Yeah. If you like it light, Renee doesn't do well with garlic, Anymore, so yeah. just do it really light. Um, and then now it's just pile on the rest of the ingredients and we're good to go. I'm gonna put the uh, sausage on here. 
Mm. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love the smell of this sauce. The kielbasa, it is so good. Wendy, yes. you, you shook, I think. Thank you very much for sharing. Kathy Lorello, thank you for sharing. Um, yes, Debbie, it is. It's amazing. So you guys are going to make, want to make sure that you print this out. And then if you try yes. it, let us let know. Let us know, yeah, how but, it came out. Okay, so I've got the kielbasa on there. I'm going to use the uh, Rails homemade marinara sauce. This is really good stuff. We use this for a lot of recipes. Um, it says to use for the whole recipe, to use a whole uh, jar. We've got a little, like I said, a little smaller casserole dish. So I'm just going to put just enough to cover everything up. Hearts of Palm. We've never tried that. No, we haven't. We haven't, Wendy. We'll have to give that a shot. If anybody has a good Hearts of Palm, like spaghetti recipe, send it to us. Um, yeah, we've done the spaghetti squash one time, and it was so good, but I just yeah. remember it being a lot, a lot of work. work. I'm all, I'd rather go for a bag of cabbage that is already cut up. Yeah, already <laughs> cut up, ready to go. And it's a, real easy to open the bag and drop. Yeah. yeah. So thank you guys so much for all everybody that is sharing. We really appreciate you. We are doing our drawing for a, a Dash Mini Mixer um, this month. And that's just to show our appreciation. You guys help us yes. to reach more people by sharing it with a friend or somebody that you love. Yes. So if you guys get value from this video, do me a favor, smash on that love button. Oh, okay, smash on that love button, put value in the comments and make sure that you've shared it. So they said Hearts of Palm comes in a can. Thank you, Wendy. Okay. See, I don't even know. Yeah, uh, it's, I've heard of it before. I've never really looked for it. We're going to now. Um, yeah, we will, we will take a look and see what we can find. Okay, so my oven's not quite ready yet, um, but I've got everything on here. I just put enough um, mozzarella cheese to cover the top. You could throw a little uh, Parmesan cheese on top of that if you wanted to. I'm not going to um, because I don't have any grated right now. Um, he likes it fresh. Yes, I've, I've got Parmesan cheese block in the refrigerator. I just haven't grated any. There we and go. There we go. Right on cue. So you guys, it's going to bake at 425. For, for 25 minutes. For 25 minutes, and that will all be on the recipe, and I will post the link up top as soon as we are off here for all of you guys. I appreciate all the hearts. And the comments of value. You guys are absolutely amazing. Amy Nance, thank you for sharing. So we are going to go let this get settled, get everything else packed yeah. up to take to our neighbors. We're actually going to take some little chocolate, um, kind of like a Rocky Road bar. It's got the Keto Crunch, what, the Catalina Crunch Catalina cereal. Catalina Crunch cereal in it. Yeah. Marshmallows and Marsh chocolate. Oh, yeah. It's, an it's like a Rocky Road. It's almost. an amazing, amazing yeah. dessert. So, really good. Um, if you guys don't have the recipe to that, it is over on our page, teamterryketo.com. But if you're wanting the recipe, put Rocky Road in the comments, and we'll I will I'll send you the link because that's a really good one too. It's a little bit lengthy, but oh, it's so worth it, and it stores really well in the refrigerator. So thank you for the compliment on my shirt. I love you. That is awesome. Thank you for saying that. Plant-based cheese. Plant-based cheeses you're using. Okay, I think that might have been a typo. We are using mozzarella cheese, right, babe? Yeah. yeah. And he usually puts more Parmesan on top of it, but um, he yeah. doesn't have it grated. I just don't right have now. any grated right now. So I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Um, and we are going to Cancun, Sherry. That's where we're going next week. We mm -hmm. leave Friday, so I'm really excited about that. But we will be on here on Wednesday night for our normal Keto Kitchen, you yep. guys. So have an amazing rest of your weekend. We love and appreciate you guys. Thanks for spending some time with us. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.